Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at the all new for 2023 Arctic Wolf Model 3810 Suite. This is their newest bunkhouse floor plan, and it is going to come in as we sit here equipped today at 11,410 pounds and is going to be about 43 feet 4 inches in overall length. Now this particular trailer has all kinds of great features and amenities, and it's going to be a two full bedroom, two full bathroom floor plan with an outside kitchen, four slide outs, a direct facing entertainment center, two ACs, standard auto leveling, a 100 watt solar package, 72 by 80 king size bed, enclosed heated belly, full two inch th thick sidewalls, just like a big Montana fifth wheel, and a whole bunch of other awesome amenities and features, plus all the new uh, updates for 2023 that we'll go over. So without further ado, let's go ahead and we'll jump on to the inside and start in the living area. All right, guys, so we're on the inside of the 2023 Arctic Wolf by Forest River model 3810 suite. And as we pan around here, you can see that this has a nice dual opposing slide living and kitchen area. You've got all kinds of great campsite window, window, window coverage. There we go. Starting with the full viewing window in the entry door. That is thin shade ready. I uh, wish they would do that from the manufacturer level, but I understand why they don't. It's a very simple install. It's about 35 ish dollars in our parts department but you've got great campsite window coverage. These two windows are the only ones that open, uh, just so that you know. Right here, starting in the slide out, you've got a Thomas Paine collection, or actually it's the Michelle K collection, but you've got a, it's basically Thomas Paine uh, theater seating that is directly across from the entertainment center, which we will see here in just a little bit. These do have the heat and massage functions on them, as well as the cool blue lights. And you are going to have a couple of cup holders here, plus remote storage there. And did you notice that soft close? That's, that's really cool, too. You do have the zebra blinds. So these are a light filtering day and night shade. Some people love them. Some people hate them. Let me know what you think down in the comment section down below. You've got a set of dual USB ports and household outlets in the slide out, which is awesome. So many brands don't do that. And so props to Arctic Wolf uh, for doing that. Now this does have a freestanding table and chairs. To my knowledge, there is not a booth dinette option. I could be wrong about that, but uh, this is the way I understand that it comes. Uh, now the nice thing about this, this has two full-time chairs, which you see on the left side here, and two fold away chairs on the right side. Now, the nice thing about that is if you're using this more of a couple's trailer, which I don't know why you would, but you can fold those two chairs up out of the way and make it a couple's dining arrangement. Now, if we take a seat at the theater seat, this is from the left side. So you can see you do have to kind of turn your head just a little bit. Not bad at all to see the uh, entertainment center. Now, if we get you right over here, you can see you're directly across from the uh, TV Entertainment Center in the right-hand theater seat. TVs are an option from Arctic Wolf. And because so many people are asking about smart TVs now, we've decided to stop stocking these with a television. Um, number one, it saves the customer a little bit of money. You can always have us add a TV if you do want one. If that's something that's stopping you from buying this, that's simple little stuff. We can easily take care of that. You are going to have all your connections here and a 40 inch TV will fit there. You're also going to have your 5200 BTU electric space heating fireplace right there. And then over here, before we kind of flip around the other direction, you've got a nice little coat rack area where you can hang up some jackets. If you are going to pull the slide out in though, I would recommend uh, taking those down. And then you've got some more household and USB outlets right here, which is a nice little spot for that. Looking back at the other direction, you can see that you've got all kinds of blue LED accent lights here. Um, it really is a neat effect. 
I probably will turn those off when we take a look at the kitchen, but I just wanted to give you a good uh, feel of what those look like. Now, some people hate them. Some people really like the blue. I'm indifferent. I, I think it looks good, but I think white would look good in here too. Um, and then, of course, this is the new interior color scheme. Um, I, I don't even remember... I don't even remember what they call it anymore, but uh, it's, I, I think it's kind of westerny, and if we kind of get up a little bit closer, you can see what, uh, what color that is. Real quick though, before we uh, jump into the kitchen, you've got a ceiling fan up there, dual AC runs, and you've, um, since this is a suite unit, you're going to have two 15,000 BTU Coleman Q-Series air conditioners. The nice thing about that is they both work together in the same ducting system so that uh, it cools the trailer more efficiently. One of the things you won't see in a Arctic Wolf is in-floor ducted heating. Now, there is one in the bunk. I don't want to be or in the bunk area. I do want to be uh, fully transparent on that. I don't know the reason why they did that, but they did. But for the most part, you are going to have side mount heated or heat ducts. You also do have a little bit of carpet in the slide outs. I know some people want completely carpetless. I'm sure Arctic Wolf will get to that, but they just haven't at this point. You've also got your breakers and fuses right there inside the door, easy to get to. Nice little shoe garage there too, by the way. And then right here is where you're gonna have all your controls. So you've got your one control hotspot prep. So if you did want to add Wi-Fi to this, you can. You're also going to have your main control panel here. The thing I like about this, you can Bluetooth this to your phone, control every function here, including your tank monitoring panel, or you just have a physical button that you can push to that if you don't want to Bluetooth this to your phone. You've got your main AC controls, your juice pack volt uh, voltage meter there. This little guy is new for 2023. This is your stereo system. So you basically Bluetooth your phone to this box and then you've got uh, basically indoor outdoor uh, controls there and your phone, or the, uh, let me rephrase that. Your trailer acts as a Bluetooth speaker. So it's really neat, um, it sounds great. And then this is gonna be your tankless water heater controls. So the, the neat thing about this, especially with two full bathrooms, you can take long showers as long as you've got propane and you know holding tank capacity you can take as long shower as you want now the very neat thing about this is you don't have to wait for this to heat up if you put it in at 95 degrees as soon as you turn on that hot hot uh water and the you know it gets the uh the remnant water out of the line it's gonna be 95 degrees when it comes out of that faucet so really cool new feature for 2023 You've also got no carpet on the steps and a handy little motion sensor light right there. So real quick, guys, as good of a living in kitchen area as this has, we need to take a look at the storage because most of the time bunkhouses have a crappy kitchen. This is one of the very few exceptions, in my opinion, that doesn't. So let's crack all this open and take a look. So starting off right next to the entry door, you have your first of two pantries. Now, this is awesome. This is a great space for all of your dry goods or you could put folded kids clothes in here if you have to but great storage space there over here you're going to have pressed membrane thermal foil style countertops you've got household and usb outlets here so this could act as like a little coffee bar um, if you want to put a coffee maker over here great storage space here and it does go all the way to the slide out and all the way back over to here so you've got really a lot of good storage. It looks smaller than it actually is. Now underneath that you're going to have another little uh, space for some items there. Above the TV you do have a flip-up cabinet. Decent storage space there. It's not the deepest in the world. Now I wish this was on a strut supported hinge just so that you didn't have to juggle it. And then over here is going to be the second of your two pantries. So again, more great storage space here. Um, I love that on all of these, you can actually fit a broom down there if you did have to or want to. Over here, you've got a, another great cabinetry space. Microwave with the hood range combo. Neat little backsplash there. 
You've got a three burner cooktop with the uh, glass cover there. Oven down below in case you want to do some baking. It is a 17 inch oven and you are going to have the uh, blue knobs and the light in the oven. Full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer right there. And then you do have a little bit more storage down there, plus a pots and pans drawer underneath the oven. And I love that that matches. It just looks really good. Above the refrigerator over here, you've got a nice big flip up door. This would be perfect for some chips or uh, act of, oh, you know what this would be good for? It's a bread box. You know, to stick all your hamburger buns, um, bagels, things like that. It's just, that's what I would use it for. And then you're gonna have your 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt DC compressor fridge. Uh, this one is a, I wanna say a GE. Good space down there. The nice thing about this, this will run off of the solar panels, which indirectly charge the battery, which is running the refrigerator. It's fully travel safe, and it's a lot bigger storage, uh, or a refrigerator than the competitive gas and electric refrigerators that some brands are still using. Now on your island, one of the things I really love over here is they have the sink offset in the island. So it's a one piece farm style sink with the pull down uh, sprayer faucet. No hand sanitizer station that this year. I'm okay with that. You're gonna have great storage underneath here for a trash can or things of that sort. And then you're gonna have three full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guided drawers. That top one does have the silverware divider. There we go. And one last thing I do want to point out is over here, you do have a couple of household and USB outlets right there. So if you need to put in a, you know, plug in a griddle or something, you can. Uh, right there. So let me know what you think of this kitchen. I think it's one of the best kitchens I've seen in a bunkhouse fifth wheel. But again, let me know what you think. Let's go look at the bunk room now. All right, guys. So stepping back into the bunk room of the 3810 suite, starting right inside the door here, you've got two light switches. One is for the accent light that you'll see above the slide out here shortly. And then the others for the main overhead cabinet or not cabinet, uh, ceiling lights. To our left, you've got a nice entertainment center. So you can mount a pretty decent sized TV. I'd say probably a 40 inch there. You've also got USB cable and power down there. Now this is gonna be the same here. I just didn't wanna move the ladder out of the way. So you do have great storage space here. And it does go all the way through, which is very nice. And then up above here, you've got this storage space here which is gonna go all the way through back over into that corner as well, which is, again, is really, really cool. Now, if we climb up the ladder, this is a single kid bunk, but you've also, let's see if I can get a good shot of it. You've got a little cubby hole there for their phone and stuff, plus USB and household outlets. This is above your outside kitchen too, by the way. So it's a, it's a really neat space. And I love that they put this little handrail thing there so that uh, they don't fall off. Now you can see you've got that accent light above the slide out here. 300 pound rating on all these upper bunks too, by the way. So you've got the flip up bunk here. That's a flip up out of the way. Plus you've got a jackknife sofa and three drawers down there for the kids clothes and things of that sort. So really, really neat here. This has got all kinds of floor space. Plus they actually give you the ladder, which is really really nice you've got a heat vent in the floor again i'm not sure why they did that here but they did i always want to point that out because it is a point of concern you've got a barn style door to separate the bathroom off which we'll take a look at momentarily ac vents back here you do they are dual ducted as well so uh you're not having you know just no ac vents or a uh, just a single one Back here in the bathroom, you've got a porcelain foot flush lever toilet. You are gonna have an egress door. So uh, you can come right in and out to the bathroom. That way you don't track up the whole RV. You've got that remote. We'll talk about that here in just a minute, but you do have a nice medicine cabinet. 
you are going to have a larger max air vent fan up here and that's what that remote is for to be able to uh, control that without having to be 10 foot tall now you can be 10 foot tall and fit in this shower this is a nice 30 by 36 inch shower with a skylight abs plastic surround and you do have the slow close shower door there so nice big shower you've also got a nice big sink that kids can easily use and not make a mess if they do you've got the press membrane countertops now where it, down here you've got a little more extra storage and they did put a gfi outlet back here i was searching for that so really really good bathroom space here and i love that it's back here plus you've got another electrical outlet right there so overall i am super pleased with how this bunk room turned out um it it the floor plan and pictures do not do it justice i really encourage you to get into uh one of these models and look at it in person it it really is a lot better in person than it is in the video and the pictures so stepping up into the upper deck you are going to have a, another one of those 30 by 36 inch showers. Now up here, you've got a six and a half foot upper deck ceiling, plus a skylight, so you can be upwards of six, six and still shower in here comfortably. You do have the ABS plastic surround and you've got that same slow close shower door there. Nice linen cabinet above the pantry and that's a very good use of space there too, by the way. Another porcelain foot flush lever toilet right there. medicine cabinet here good storage there you're going to have a motion sensor light here gfi protected outlet press membrane countertop a nice big sink and good storage there as well now this is going to have a pocket style door here the nice thing about that is you don't have to go down the steps at night just to close the door you can just walk in and shut the door behind you which is it's an underrated feature. Um, I wish more brands would do pocket doors like that uh, for that reason. Now coming up here into the bedroom, you've got a 72 by 80 inch residential king bed. This is not some weird RV king size like some other brands, uh, not going to name names, but some other brands are doing. There is... Little bit of storage underneath, not a ton, but some. Over here on this side, you're gonna have your light switches plus your second AC thermostat. Again, both of those are 15K ACs. You're also going to have a hanging closet space here. So you've got the hanging rod there, plus this is where your washer and dryer will go. Now it is for a stackable washer and dryer. You've also got USB and household outlets. So if you wanna use one of these stands if you don't do the washer dryer or the not stands shelves as a nightstand for your phone or CPAP machine or something you can easily do that excuse me now coming over here you've got a emergency egress window lots of good window space back here it's nice bright and open pleated nightshades in your bedroom areas I believe I got forgot to mention that in the bunk room you've also got a tv mount and backer location there with the appropriate hookups. Nice stand here. You're gonna have two full extension plywood box, ball bearing drawer guided drawers, little shoe garage there, which apparently I didn't get that closed all the way. And then you've got some more storage here. Now up over here, this is normally where most other brands washer and dryer would go. This one, they put a desk. So you could bring one of those dinette chairs up here if you're full timing or working from the road. You've got household USB power, nice spot to put a laptop or a computer or something, um, and plenty of storage in, in this room for files and things of that sort. Plus, you could also use this as a makeup area. Now back in here, you're gonna have a great hanging closet space. It's a little smaller than some of the other competing products, but it's still very usable. Plus you've got the shoe storage down here. More household USB outlets. This could act as a nightstand if you wanted to. And then you have a nice divided shelf space here for some of your bigger items like sheets, things of that sort. So it is a very, very uh, 
smart use of space. Um, sometimes having shelves is just as good as having a hanging rod. And again, there's that second AC that is standard. So real quick, guys, let's close up these slide outs and take a look at it in road mode. And then we'll walk you around the outside and show you all the cool features there. All right, guys, so we'll start with the back door first. So you can get up here, you can get to the second bathroom. And as you can see, you can come in here and you can access the bunk room. Now you can't get to that door there, but you can see that uh, you can uh, get to it back in here. Now, if we step outside and we go back in here in your main door, you can see you can squeeze through here and you're not getting to much. You're not getting to the refrigerator. Um, you can kind of get to this pantry, but that's about it. But however, you can get to your main bedroom and bathroom, which is super cool. All right, guys, so we're on the outside of the 2023 Arctic Wolf 3810 suite. So starting off here, you have new exterior graphics for 2023. They absolutely look sharp. I love the mountains, the blues, the grays, the whites. It just looks real, real classy and sharp. You've got blue LED accent lights on top of your one piece painted fiberglass front cap. You're also going to have your Rhino box here. This is a part of the Lipper Space Saver frame. It does uh, have some aftermarket capability with various hitches. Um, I, whether or not those are completely out yet, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, if you really wanna know, I can definitely find that out for you. You're gonna have your cap lights here. This is where your batteries and spare tire go. I just have that locked up currently. You have a nice sized power awning with LED light strips in it. In this first door, we have got one 20 pound propane tank. You're gonna have another one on the other side that will fit a 30 pound tank in there. I have a lot of customers asking me about that. Now down here, you've got just a massive amount of storage space. And I'll get a little closer so you can get an idea of how big this is. This is awesome. There's very few obstructions. Motion sensor lights, you've got three of them actually. And then you've got cable and power here. You can run them out that port there. You're also going to have a leash latch to tie up your fur babies. Uh, make sure not to leave them tied up to the bumper or to there like on National Lampoon's Vacation, but that's where you could tie them up. Down here, you're gonna have a fully enclosed and forced air heated underbelly, which is a great feature for some four season camping. All of your doors are gonna have magnetic holdbacks and slam latches, which is very nice. Now you can see there's your outside speakers and there's those uh, LED lights there. All of your windows also are a RV45 reflective window, which is, it's tinted, but it also reflects the UV rays away from the window. So it's gonna keep the trailer cooler. You've got friction hinge doors. They are the black glass version, larger entry assist handle, and you've got two sets of four step, more ride step above steps with the uh, adjustable feet that'll flip up inside of the door. You've got four slide outs on this unit. All of them are prepped for Solaris slide awning toppers, which are these little brackets in the top corners there. You've got great looking aluminum wheels and uh, and tires, or uh, the tires aren't aluminum, what am I thinking? Um, that is a dull moment. But you've also got the four point electric auto leveling. That's the ground control 3.0. And I'll show you where the controls for that are on the other side. Arctic Wolf revamped their outside kitchen this year and I absolutely love this. So coming up in here, you've got a nice flip up door. You've got two refrigerators, yours and mine. Plus you're gonna have a uh, electrical outlet back over here. Ice maker, sink that's plumbed into a real holding tank plus an electrical outlet. And you've got uh, some blue accent lights plus a little puck light there. 
This is for plumbing access. And new for this year, you've got a nice griddle outside. And that was the one thing that this outside kitchen was missing last year was a place to cook stuff. You've also got a drawer there and a propane quick connect down there. That's where that little white tag is flapping. Now back here on your uh, second entry door directly into the bathroom, as you can see there, you've got the same treatment as the front door. So you've got your, um, <coughs> pardon me, you got your Moride steps, your large entry assist handle and the friction hinge black glass entry door. Back here, you've got all LED tail and marker lights. Plus you've got a square tubular bumper for your stinky slinky. We didn't order this one with the rear uh, cargo rack, but it is an available option. Black tank flush there. And then if we look up top, you can see that you are do get the backup camera standard and you've got the prep for the LCI uh, on the go ladder system. You can buy that aftermarket from us if you didn't want to. And there's that uh, ladder thing if you wanna check that out. Now back here is gonna be your 50 amp service. You are gonna have two separate gray and black tank dumps. So you've got one here for the back bathroom, plus you've got your tank handles there. That is a terrible spot for those, um, but that's where they put them. Notice that the gate valves are not underneath, uh, exposed to the elements. They're actually in the underbelly, which is really cool. As we come up over here, you've got what I call the fishing pole storage. So this is a nice spot where you could fit really tall items. You can see it goes way up there. You've got a motion sensor light in here. Um, again, I would use this for fishing poles. It, it would just be the perfect spot for them. Now up here, you've got your main dump there. It is under the slide out again. And then you've got your tank pulls there. Again, the gate valves are underneath the underbelly. Right here is going to be your furnace access. You've got your tankless on-demand water heater. Outside shower, black tank flush, city water, fresh water, cable and power, or cable and satellite hookups, plus an easy convenience light for when you're hooking up at night. Now, this is the other side of your pass-through storage. Notice that they put a little clip so you don't crush this door with the slide out. The little things like that are very important when you're looking at these uh, trailers to see if the manufacturers thought about that. And then right here is going to be your automatic leveling controls. Now, I don't really care for where this is placed. They should have put it as close to this sidewall as possible just so that you can easily uh, see your hitch when you're raising and lowering it or put it in a box out here like uh, some other manufacturers do. That would just be so much easier. Um, I understand why they do it this way. It's just not my preferred method. Now this does have a 100 watt solar package on the roof standard. You can do the extra 100 watt panel giving you 200 watts of solar uh, if you did want to. Now, because I don't have one of those on, on the go ladders, uh, we're not gonna climb up on the roof today, but it is up there. That's a standard feature. So, all right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the 2023 Arctic Wolf by Forest River model 3810 suite. If you're interested in this big, beautiful bunkhouse fifth wheel and you have any questions, or if you'd like pricing and availability, I will post a link to our website as soon as I get this one posted. Uh, I kind of have a backlog since I just got back from uh, a much needed vacation, but I'll get to that as soon as possible. Uh, you can also leave those down in the comment section down below. You can email us at contact at custom-rv.com or you can give us a call at 806-335-2336. If you're interested in this fifth one, you'd like to purchase it or potentially purchase it and you'd like to work with me directly. My name is Corey. I'm the sales manager here. Um, and you can call or text me anytime at area code 806-382-6274. I don't get paid extra money to do these videos for the dealer. This is just me uh, trying to stay busy and I only make money when I uh, sell one of these things. So if, if I can help you in any way, I would love the opportunity to show you the custom RV difference and to earn your business. Remember at Custom RV, we don't do any hidden dealer fees. We leave those up to the big box dealers and we know that RVs are made for women so men can go camping. All right, guys, if you could do me a favor, 
you enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more of these videos, hit that subscribe and notification bell down below. That really helps you stay up to date with all of our latest content that we have coming out for you. And believe me, we've got some cool stuff coming, not just from Arctic Wolf, just for all the new 2023 models. So again, guys, we thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed. We hope to hear from you or see you out on our lot very soon and have a wonderful rest of your day.